You're going down. Surprises. On second thought, patrolling sounds great. Engaging in combat.
Don't bite, I promise. Hey, little guy. It's all right. Can't do anything with it without a garden.
Wonder what this is, buddy. this was for. Not bad for an abandoned facility. You can't escape me! Something interesting? Yeah, let's see. Look at 
this. Good job. Fight with me. That door wouldn't last against a roller mine. But where are we gonna find one around here? No. 
for your scrap. I hope. Intruder! <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Trust in the Force, Padawan. Don't bite, I promise.
Interesting. <laughs> Won't open from this side. Nothing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's a mistake. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Hairy. Big mouth. Ow. Vertically challenged. You can come out now, old boy. The coast is clear. I tell you, Monk, the Bedlam Raiders are gonna be the end of this town. We got no hope. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. How you doing, BD? Ah. Wait a minute. You son of a boggling! Oh, oh, it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Hey, let me look at you. Oh, you look terrible. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> hey, are you taking care of him? Are you taking care of the manis? Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, okay. I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo, too, lately. Gyro's burnt out on the Mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seed. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery Monk coming right up. Welcome to Pilud Saloon, the finest dive this side of Zeltrot. <laughs> yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Here's sand in your eye. Monkey and I picked it up from the previous owner to a, well, a, well... He caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. We've been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the Manus? Oh. We are on Coruscant, gathering intel for Saw Guerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. <laughs> Everything I'm doing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. Things, uh... haven't been the same since the team split up. Yeah, hey, we had some good times, didn't we, huh? Me, you, the Space Witch, Seer. Have you talked to her lately? Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. No. It's been a while. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. She's very busy with this new project. <laughs> hey, gal. Why don't you relax a little before we fix the manis? The galaxy can wait a couple hours. Well, we should probably get moving as soon as we finish up. I got a spare room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. All right. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> so where's that room at again? The room? Oh, kid, you're gonna love it. 
Just take a right after the bar, through the kitchen, and down the stairs. You can't miss it. Right. Thanks again, Grease. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can thank me by getting some shut-eye. You really do look terrible. Get some rest. We'll talk more later. You've been working here for a while? A while? Though I'd hardly call it working. You see, that would imply we had regular customers. Shame. This place has potential. And yeah, that's the story I keep telling myself, Sport. That's the story. Why don't you head down to the basement? Check out your new digs. We can chat after you rest. Grease always had an eye for eccentric art. Just clean it up a little, buddy. I don't want to know how this got there. I wish I knew family was coming. The place is a mess. Oh, sure. But don't you find Let's not get a lot of business here. You don't look like a raider. What gave it away? No blaster in my face. No spilling drinks and shouting bloody murder. Oh, cute Troy, too. That's BD1. I'm Cal. About dang time we had some new faces in town. I'm Zig, by the way. Nice to meet you. Keep walking, slick. Suit yourself. Uh, let's chat later. This stage has seen better days. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Is there a problem? I could have sworn I heard you stirring up a raider-sized problem just outside. I didn't start that fight. Well, it certainly seems you finished it. I'd love to chat, but I'd better finish my drink before the next fight breaks out. That can't be up to code. Even out here on the frontier. There's the kitchen. Basement must be through here. Wow. Grease really outdid himself. That's Sears Helix set. Wonder why it ended up here. Scrapper outfit. Why did Grease keep this? I know. Creepy. Grease always had a green thumb. You know he talks to his plants? Let's try some other components.
I can definitely work with that. Ready to show him your new look, buddy?
Kobo's pretty far from the nearest trade route. Looks like Grease makes do with salvage. <clears throat> Still talking in your sleep, huh? Guess some things never change. Weirdo. Hairball. <laughs> Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what? You're gonna go find some trouble with Saw Guerrera? Maybe. Yeah. One of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... Listen. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that guy near Cal? But I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you gotta take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You gotta know when to walk away from a rigged game, otherwise you are gonna end up losing something you could never replace. Tina. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the Manus up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? 
It's really good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Grease, I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Go ahead, get the gyro, and you know, hurry back, be careful, and all the other warnings I used to give you two. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine, and all the things we used to say. One moment. Go ahead, get the gyro, and you know, hurry back, be careful, and all the other warnings I used to give you two. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine, and all the things we used to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. I guess fine's enough. Pests, huh? Anything else? There's always something else, kid. That's kind of the point. You better get moving. Oh, watch your step down there. Do me a favor, don't stir up any rats. Or ghosts. Or rat ghosts. I could do without extra problems for a day. Good time as any to modify. Good time to review our gear. Smuggling tunnels, huh? Breeze always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. <clears throat> nice job, BD. Boglings. Aren't 
This what spooked Grease? Use these tunnels for a long time now. Dusty and abandoned. More scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. It just won't open. That's not opening. Let me guess, more prospecting equipment. Is there anyone on Kobo who isn't digging for scraps?
Never look when you can leap, eh? Uh. Oh. The sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can. We should check this out. Need to center myself. All right, let's go. Almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds. It feels different, older. Nice. Looks intact. What is this place? Very nice. still running down here. Let's see if we can hit the lights. Not bad. Think we could walk on that? Careful, BD. I'm sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the Council demanded. Then at least I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am ZNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Kree, you are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuna? Oh, what a fine model. No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. May the Force be with you. been here for hundreds of years. BD, we're gonna help you. 
pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. I'm more of a poncho guy. Use the orbs to activate the bridge. Then you can reach the crane controls. I think. But this is so many idle years. Who really knows? This droid's got more than a screw loose. What was that? I, uh, said... Hold tight, Z. Never took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. Take a look. Well, I, I must admit, I am in need of repair. Oh. So, Z, what's Tanalor? Hmm. A planet hidden within the Cobalt is. Hmm. It's home to a Jedi temple. of the Order's light on the galactic frontier. At least that's what my master hoped Tanalor might become. That should do it for now. Just gotta figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this... was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. Where we are? A meditation chamber. Master Creed designed these to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Creed had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. The exit is this way. I am very fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, we could have been down here forever. That planet you mentioned. What's it like? Tanalor? Oh, what a wondrous place. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobo Abyss. That must be the knowledge your master perched from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Here. And the sky 
sky was full of meteors. Oh, I have been asleep for a very long time, haven't I, Cal? Yes. Don't worry. You're not alone. We'll help you get back on your feet. You might not be wearing a proper attire, but... Now I am certain you are a Jedi. Come on. I'll be there in a moment, Cal. Don't wait on my behalf. Oh, such strange buildings. Oh my, what is that? Spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Cal, what's it? Look, I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. You made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Drydus, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I take it you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal. You have saved me, but I must ask more of you still. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the manis before the raiders snatch it. I'll ask you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the manis. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I am in full operating order, I will join you at the forest array. Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Oh, Cal, I'm gonna lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use pleasure. the back door, would you? Coming right up, Heritage. Coming right up. But something tells me you'd appreciate the soap more after we chat. Strap yourself in. I fear this update might be a little hard to process. Oh, come now. I can bear a little bad news. Spare no detail. Well, where to start? Uh, okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself Emperor. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from Imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Once say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes, perhaps that would be best. Hey, Z, know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Kree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes. But all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? So how long have you known both? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work, exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. 
Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Calistar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. And when the rain comes... You best get out of the way. Cal, let's chat later. Z and I are catching up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, another time, yes? I'm awaiting my oil bath. Still here, Cal? That's a rainbow to open itself, you know. Sorry, Cal, but I'm busy tending to heritage here. Well, that reminds me. I should check on that oil bath soon. Apologies, champ, but I'm a tad busy with your new friend here. Maybe another time. Cal, I gotta confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. We've already been there, Turtle, but thanks for the tip. Really? Well, is it too late to say that we split whatever you find 50-50-50? Maybe next time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Hiya. Listen, friend, what's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Talk later, hmm? Tweak a few things. This always clears my head. Modifications couldn't hurt. Let's get to work. the gate Z told us about.
here. There, traveler. Hi there. <laughs> don't mind the beast. She don't like strangers. The mountain don't neither. You be careful. I'll try. Thanks. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. There's stuff beyond these crags that make your blood run cold. Oh, we could tell you some stories. BD1. My bottom old mum dubbed me Scuba Stev. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested in water and gold down in your valley. All right, all right. Get I asked. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so called tank. Ah, can you kill us, dear way? You don't even see the sea spray once it's missed in your gums. I guess not. You're the aspect of a fisher lad. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the layer of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome foe. No fisher, but Skiver Stev. That was pretty impressive. You still think I'm small time, eh? No, I believe. Well then, I've no choice but to regale you with my bleak most history. Tell me a moment, and I'll tell you a thing or two about old Scuba Stan. So, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of Scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Then you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sakavi Tar. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look can turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, hey? Eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it upon frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, 
That's not a mild undertaking. But for all the belly aching now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakavian with an instinct for the road. So you discovered your talent early. Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spotted my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. Oh, and uh, some advice, lad. If you're planning to scale the mountain, you'll need to give a strong grip. Hey, BD-1. Got something, buddy? Controls must be elsewhere. The lift isn't here. See what's up ahead, buddy. Let's stop for a moment. 